Let me show you how I cook a pheasant. Now, the way I don't cook a pheasant is to take a whole pheasant like this and throw it on a grill or whatever because the breasts are very, very lean. They're gonna cook very quickly. The legs and thighs are very sinewy, so they need to be cooked low and slow. So I always start with a pheasant breakdown, removing all parts. There's a leg. There's a leg, and I'm just going to cut straight down the breastbone to remove the breast. This is a wild bird. You can tell there's not a bunch of fat on it. There's the breast. So these are much leaner than the pen raised birds, and certainly leaner than a chicken. You just don't see any fat on here. Now, this carcass here. This is stock material, so I save my pheasant pieces, pheasant parts, to make stock out of them. Brown it with some celery, carrot, onion, throw it into a stock pot, cold water, let it simmer. It's so much better than anything you can buy out of a can or use with a bouillon cube. So even if you don't have a lot of pheasants, let's say you've got a couple of pheasants, you got a couple of chucker bodies, You've got a wild turkey that you've broken down. You can break the whole thing down and make a delicious stock out of it. But really, cooking it all, cooking that pheasant all by itself, all together, doesn't make sense. So, the legs and thighs, I'm going to brown them and then braise them. And by braising, I'm going to throw that into a roasting pan, again with celery, carrot, onion, a little bit of liquid, about three quarters of an inch of liquid. Cover it up with foil or a tight fitting lid and it's going to take several hours at about 300 degrees before that pheasant meat pulls off the bone. Then you can take the bones and add that to your stock pot and you're using the whole deal. But for this breast, very, very simple. I've got some large olive oil into a hot cast iron skillet. I'm also going to put a little butter in there. Once that skillet is hot, and not a minute before, I'm going to add the pheasant breast. And look again just at how thin these are. And compare these to chicken or to a pin raised bird. The wild birds are a lot leaner, but they taste great. People that tell me that uh, they think pheasant is gamey, I don't get it. There's nothing gamey about a pheasant, a chucker, a quail. Here's one of the things that I've done with people that say that game is gaming. I said, all right, now this is elk. I know you don't like game, but try this elk. I don't think it's gamey at all. And they'll try it and they'll go, ah, you know, it's still a little gamey. And what I've done is I've given them, I've given them a piece of beef instead and told them it was elk. But just when I planted that seed, they're thinking, oh yeah, it's gamey, all right. Skin side down. I've got a little of the High Mountain Poultry Rub. What's great about the High Mountain products is that um, they're low in salt. They're high in flavor, low in salt. Let me flip this guy over. I'm going to turn the heat down just a little bit. And it's okay to flip it a time or two. I'm going to season the B side now with some more of the High Mountain Poultry Rub. Also, a good hearty herb from the backyard, I've got some rosemary. You just take the rosemary and you just strip it down the stem, the stalk, chop it up, and you want to add the rosemary early on so that it releases the oils. It's good hearty flavor. It's not like basil, cilantro, parsley, which is more delicate. I've also got some garlic, which I'm going to add right towards the end. And a little jalapeno for heat. Maybe a little more jalapeno for heat. It's really close. I mean, real time, this is super close. I know that my pheasant is done because it's still going to be just a little tiny bit pink in the center. Nothing bad's going to happen. Um, if you cook it too long, it's going to dry out because, of course, there's no fat in there. 
This butter will help things out. That'll help give it some fat. Kind of smooth out the edges. Here's some jalapeno. I don't like jalapeno. Okay, then don't put jalapeno in, right? I can't believe you put jalapeno in. There's some nice, beautiful heirloom tomato that I've just taken off the outside. Now I can throw that garlic in. I don't want to throw it in too early or it'll burn. A little lime juice for flavor. So we've got lime, butter, olive oil, garlic, and rosemary. All right, I know that it's done just by feeling it like that. You press down. I can tell that this is just done and not overdone. Get all my good stuff in here. Got a little riced cauliflower. Put my pheasant breasts right on top. A little rosemary. Pheasant breast, not dry, not overcooked, not gamey, just really, really good.